on YouTube? What you doing? Huh? You getting some money? Yeah, I hope you getting some money. You better be getting some money. If you didn't know, it's Block Like Vlogs, aka the Trucking Block, back with another video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up notification bell. It does not cost you a thing. Comment down below. Interact with me. I interact back. If you don't like my videos, hit the dislike. YouTube analytics, right? So, uh, anyway, it's been about a month since I posted. Last few videos were just motivational videos. Uh, if you got the time, check them out. You know, very inspiring words from uh, some good speakers on there. But anyway, this is a trucking video. I'm currently in Savannah, Georgia, at Georgia Pacific. Just unloaded about an hour ago, waiting on my time to restart. Got about 23 minutes left before I get my clock back. Um, Real quick, man. <laughs> I got a gripe. I got a gripe. And usually I don't come on this channel uh, complaining and uh, airing my grievances or whatever. But I mean, it ain't that serious. It's just a thought I had as I was sitting there getting unloaded. Um, when I showed up this morning to Georgia Pacific, their dock opens up at 7 a.m. 0700, uh, which is Eastern time. And I pulled in around five minutes after, like 7.05 and backed it to the door, went inside, gave my paperwork and everything. And when he finished signing the paperwork, he looked up at me and said, man, I'll get to you when I can. Mind you, before me, there was a flatbed and a dock right next to the dock I was at. And if you ever been to Georgia Pacific, you know they deal with a lot of flatbed. And they got these uh, specialized docks that the flatbed can roll into that ends up being level with the, uh, the platform that the loaders use to unload or load. Um, he was about done with that flatbed. He only had like three rolls left and these giant uh paper rolls he had three rolls left and he was like i'll get to you when i when he said i'll get to you when i can i'm like okay i said well is it right after this truck or you know do you have a estimated time uh it'll just be when i can so well excuse me you know i mean i'd like to know an you know, estimated amount of time because i have another customer that i gotta pick up from and it'd be nice to know and he said, well, I don't know, uh, 30, 40 minutes. I'm like, okay, thank you. You know, and I walked out and I thought about it. And that's not the first time I encountered that. And he wasn't extremely rude or anything like that, but he was very dismissive, like most loaders are, because they don't understand what a trucker goes through. Um, when I was loading or unloading trucks at a warehouse, because I've done it before, I've done his job before, um... I didn't tell the truck driver, I'll get to you when I can. And that's been kind of a, a, a new thing lately I've been running into for the past few months is I'll get to you when I can. And maybe even longer now, I'm gonna say more than a few months. <laughs> I've been hearing it for a little longer than that, probably more like a year. But I'll get to you when I can, it's not a good answer for a truck driver. I mean, we, we need to know. Uh, our clock depends on it. You know, what if we're about out of time and we need to know if we have to uh, personal convey to a safe haven or, you know, whatever we got to do. We, we don't know what's going on until you tell us. How are we going to know how long we're going to be sitting here getting unloaded until you tell us? You know, and I get it. That's the name of the game in trucking. Sometimes you sit somewhere for a long time and get unloaded or loaded. I get it but at least give me an estimated amount of time. You know how much is going on my truck or coming off my truck. And you know how long it takes to unload it because I'm not the only truck you're gonna unload today or load today, right? It's a common courtesy just to give me an estimated amount of time because I can't tell the shipper nor receiver, I'll get to you when I can. Put it like this, I accept the load and the shipper says, you have to be here at 0700. Okay, this is just an example. I say, okay, I'll get to you when I can. 
do you think I'm still going to have that load? <laughs> or put it like this. I pick up the load on time and the receiver wants an ETA because some do. And I tell them, mm, I get to you when I can. <laughs> See, us truckers don't have the convenience of telling a shipper nor receiver, hey, I get to you when I can. Neither one. I get to you when I can. Because if we do that, then we lose the load. We can't pull that load. Company driver, LP driver, or owner op. You tell a shipper receiver that you'll get to them when you can, more than likely, you're either going to lose the load or you're going to be in some trouble. And if you're an owner op, yeah, it might not be no trouble, no supervisor to answer to. But whether you're using Coyote or another um, load board, you're going to get dinged for that. You're going to get marked or flagged for being late. So we can't do that. We can't do that. But when we get to these shippers and receivers, the loaders on the dock are like, eh, get to you when I can. So that's my gripe. You know, um, that has to stop. That has to stop. And you can't sit there and tell me that, oh, I don't understand, you know, the warehouse. I've done that type of job before. I've done unloading and loading trucks inside of a warehouse and on dirt with a bobcat loading uh, flatbeds and unloading flatbeds. I've done both them things and I'm gonna tell you, whenever a truck driver pulled in and they asked me that question, or even if they didn't ask me, I would let them know because I understood. I said, man, they're on a time crunch. There's a clock to what they do. If they didn't ask, I would tell them, all right, well give me, you know, 15 minutes or 10 minutes or however long I needed to prepare to unload them or I had something I needed to do first or if I can get right to them, hey, I'm gonna get right on it. Uh, it it's gonna take me about half an hour. That way they're not sitting in a truck wondering, okay, when are they gonna start unloading me or loading me? Because time is everything in this industry. All of us truckers know this. Time is everything to us. It means a lot to us, okay? Time is just as important as breathing to us. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you're a loader and you're watching this video or you know someone that's uh, working in a warehouse or, you know, if you're just a truck driver, I mean, you can, you can understand where I'm coming from with this because I've been running into it a lot. And I ask the same question every time. Well, can you give me an estimated amount of time? When they tell me they, they'll get to me when they can, I say, well, can you give me an estimated amount of time, please? And then sometimes they get an attitude. This guy, this particular guy I talked to, he didn't catch an attitude, but I could tell it kind of bothered him that I asked that. <laughs> but some, some of them will get a real attitude with you and say, uh, well, <laughs> I said, I told, I told you, I get to you when I get to you, you know, or they'll get a little snazzy with it because they dealt with so many truck drivers with bad attitudes because of that. And I can understand the truck driver's position. You get to me when you can. All right. Well, could I have told y'all I'll give you the load when I can? <laughs> yeah, but that that's all I got for y'all on this video. Um, it's been the truck and block. I'm out, man. <laughs>